Hey guys, this is Ricardo and welcome to another blog tech tips. So guys, today I have an exciting video for you guys and I'll be looking at the Galaxy S9 or S8, the top five problems and fixes. Now, these are legitimate problems faced by Galaxy S9, S8 and even on older device users where basically we have compiled the top most frequent problems you will have with your device. Now, this is a great video for you to watch as at one time or the other you will experience at least one of these issues. So, let's get straight into the video. Now, uh, I'd like to list out these problems. And the first one we're going to look at, guys, is crashing apps. Second, black screen issue. Third, moisture detected warning. Fourth, stuck in boot. And fifth, stuck in headphone mode or low speaker volume issues. Alright, so with that, let's get straight into the first one. Alright guys, so the first one to look at guys is the So the first one to look at guys is the crashing app issue. And of course the error should look something like this or similarly worded. I'll put it on screen. Now um, in case you're getting crashing apps, the first thing you want to do is identify the app. It should be named in the error. So the first thing you want to go is go into settings. Once you're in settings, go down to apps. And I'm using the latest update of my um, device, which is um, uh, S8 it will still apply to the S9. And let's say, for example, the app that's crashing is... You can just randomly go through. Let's say it's Dragon Hills. You're just going to go ahead and tap. Once you're on the app, just go to Storage. And once you're on Storage, you can go ahead and clear cache and clear data. Doing that, next you're going to um, just go ahead and hold on power. And just go ahead and restart your device to allow it to start afresh. Once it comes back up, the error should be gone. If not, you can check out our other videos. I'll link below to the detailed videos and additional steps you can actually take to fix the issue. But usually doing that usually fixes the problem. And of course, any app can crash. That includes Facebook, Gallery, um, Yahoo Messenger, anything that's on the device or downloaded. All right. So that, that's clear. Um, let's go straight into the second um, fix. The second issue, guys, involves the black screen problem. And of course, when once you have this issue, what's going to happen is that your device display will remain blank. And no matter what you do, the display will not come on. And of course, if you press the volume up, volume down buttons, power so on, nothing will happen. The only time you'll notice that the device is on is, of course, if you get a message and you're noticing the LED flash up here at the top. Or, of course, you might hear your messages coming in or calls coming in, but the display will remain blank. In such a case, do not panic. Now, the first thing you want to do, guys, in that case is you're just going to go ahead. You're going to hold down uh, power and volume down. You're going to hold both and you're just going to keep pressing. And once you do that, what should happen is that the device should reboot and should come back on. So, again, you're going to hold down in case of a black screen. You're going to hold down power, volume down, and hold. And of course, I have a separate video on this. You can read, uh, watch that one for more details as to how to deal with this uh, problem. Third, guys, we have moisture detected in the charge port. I'll put a link of what the message should look like on screen. And depending on where you are on your device, the message might vary. All right. So once you're seeing anything regarding moisture detected um, in the charge port in which your device will not charge any at all, First thing you want to do, guys, is to make sure that your charge port actually has no moisture. So just go ahead and get a piece of cotton swab and clean out this area. Also, check all other ports and make sure the device is dry. If that doesn't work and the message still persists, the next thing you're going to do, guys, is just go ahead and power down. Next, get your charger at the ready and just make sure it's plugged in and as i said again make sure your charge port has no moisture and you're just going to set do not place it all the way in and right away what you're going to do guys is just going to power up and that's it now once you see the samsung galaxy logo or the samsung logo just go ahead and plug in all right now of course guys if you had timed that just perfectly and gotten the charger in right at the samsung logo what should have happened is so guys, if you time that right and you had actually pushed it in at the Samsung logo, what should have happened is that the device should have started um, charging. However, if you're too late, it will not charge. Quite easy and a reasonable fix for you guys to attempt. Next up guys, if you're stuck on the Samsung logo, which is the startup logo, similarly to the previous fix, I'll show you a picture on screen here. 
where your device just hangs on boot and refuses to boot up any at all or if it's stuck in a continuous boot loop now there are two things you can actually try now the first one you can actually do is to try to boot into a recovery mode I have a separate video on that. You can actually check that out. Links below in the description. And once you boot into recovery, you're going to go ahead and reset the device. But of course, you will lose your data. So bear that in mind as you attempt this. All right. And second, if that doesn't work, what you can do is actually flash the device where you reload the software onto your device. You can actually do that with smart switch or using the Odin software, which is a software by Samsung that can actually be used to flash devices. It's kind of technical, so you'd have to actually find a separate tutorial on that. I also have guides on that as well, so you can check out mine. I'll link them below in the description. And of course, the fifth and final issue that most users encounter is a issue where they're seeing on screen that they're stuck in headphone mode or there is low volume coming from your speakers. In both cases, they are kind of similar. Now, what you want to do, guys, in this case is to actually get a cotton swab or a Q-tip. And what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to turn over your device. And right where you have the headphone uh, jack, as seen at the base here, you're just going to go ahead and clean out this port piece of bathroom tissue could work as well just get it into the port and clean out the dust or the lint that is actually here and in most cases it's just dust or lint that's actually causing a false um, positive in terms of there's a headphone connected when there's not and of course that will kill the volume next it could be that your speaker grills are blocked that could be as a result of your hands being dirty and it over time especially if you work in dirt and dust it could clog these ports down here muffling the sound so just go ahead and check can get a small device like a toothpick and carefully remove any dirt or grime that could be in this area by doing that you should be able to clear the ports and the volume will return now guys now guys those have been my main issues that i've encountered in fixing these devices which is in the samsung galaxy s8 and s9 you can try these fixes you can also share this video with a friend and of course, I'm sure you have already encountered these issues and you have your own fix. If you have anything to share, please do so in the comments. And of course, this is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips with another set of quick tech tips showing you five major problems that affects the S8 and S9. All right, guys, this is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.